Recent advances in endoscopic technology, including specifically designed endoscopes and improved biopsy needles, have allowed minimally invasive surgical access to organs and regions of the body that have previously been only accessible by more invasive surgical and laparoscopic procedures. Experienced, fellowship-trained interventional endoscopists can now access, view highly detailed magnified images of a specific location or organ, biopsy tissue, and perform a variety of interventions and treatments using high-frequency ultrasound on a surgical endoscope known as endoscopic ultrasound, or EUS. EUS is currently used to view detailed images in a wide variety of locations in the chest and abdomen, including, but not limited to, lungs, lymph nodes, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, liver, pancreas, kidneys, rectum, colon, prostate, and lower abdominal lymph nodes. Importantly, the EUS images complement and enhance other radiologic imaging techniques such as CT, MRI, or PET scan, which are excellent for whole body and regional imaging. Additionally, EUS is used for the ablation or destruction of tumors. The introduction of chemotherapeutic agents by direct injection, potentially improving patient outcomes, and injecting markers called fiducials, which allow for the selective targeting of organs and tumors with radiation therapy while avoiding collateral damage to adjacent structures. Endoscopic ultrasound with fine needle biopsy, or EUS-FNB, is a procedure where a doctor uses a specialized ultrasound endoscope to aid in the biopsy of solid tumor or the removal of a sample of tissue to check for cancerous growth. In this example, a pancreatic solid tumor will be biopsied. Fine needle biopsy has replaced fine needle aspiration, which could only sample cells, not tissue, by allowing for more specific tissue testing with specialized stains and personalized medicine. First, the ultrasound endoscope is moved into position within the duodenum, part of the small intestine. The tip of the ultrasound endoscope contains an ultrasound probe. Ultrasound uses sound waves to create highly detailed images of features adjacent to the duodenum. In this case, the location and other structures of the tumor can be identified, such as vessels and ducts. These features are important to the establishment of a diagnosis and facilitating accurate staging since the tumor can be one of a variety of benign, precancerous, or cancerous types of lesions. Ultrasound helps visualize and guide the biopsy needle as it is pushed through the duodenal wall into the pancreas and tumor. Tissue within the tumor is removed with the FNB needle. If needed, fiducial markers can be placed around the tumor in preparation for further treatment. The tissue is sent to the laboratory for molecular testing and pathologic analysis, where special stains are applied to the tissue to determine its tumor and disease characteristics. The laboratory analysis is used in combination with interpretation of EUS images by the endoscopist. These methods provide clues for the diagnosis of the pancreatic tumor type and helps determine how to personalize the patient's surveillance or continued careful observation and treatment.